When you mix an alkyl halide with pure magnesium in an ether solvent, you get a type of molecule that is called a Grignard reagent. A Grignard reagent is unique because it has a carbon-magnesium-bromine bond. Grignard reagents are very reactive and they react as if they were carbons with negative formal charges on them. So they react as if they were a substance like this, a carbanion. They react a lot like a hydride ion, like we have seen in previous videos, lithium aluminum hydride and sodium borohydride. In this video, I'm gonna show you three different examples of Grignard reagents reacting with molecules that have carbon oxygen double bonds. Whenever you're looking at a Grignard reaction, you're gonna notice that it's always a two-step process. Step one involves the Grignard reagent. And remember, you wanna think about the Grignard reagent as just an alkyl group with a negative charge on it. Like a hydride reagent, that negatively charged alkyl group is gonna attack the carbon of the carbon-oxygen double bond, and it's gonna cause that bond to open up. And this is going to create, just like with the hydride reagents, it's gonna create an O minus. And this R group from the Grignard, in this case a CH3 group, is going to attach itself to the carbon of the carbon-oxygen double bond. So we're creating a carbon-carbon bond. It might be helpful if I do some color coding here, make this yellow. Just like with the lithium aluminum hydride reaction, step two of this reaction involves adding water to that intermediate and the water is just being used to put a hydrogen on the O minus. This gives us an alcohol. This is Grignard reaction. Not only does it add carbons to the original molecule, but it also converts the carbon oxygen double bond into an alcohol as well. Here's another example. In this situation, we're looking at uh, reacting our Grignard with an aldehyde instead of a ketone, and we have a much different Grignard reagent. There's a lot of varieties with these Grignard reagents. The, um, remember, you always want to be thinking about a Grignard reagent as an R-. minus. So for this particular one, we want to be thinking about it like this benzene ring that has a negative charge on one of the carbons in the benzene ring. Um, that negative charge is going to attack the carbon of the carbon-oxygen double bond, open up that double bond. So we're gonna get an intermediate that looks like this, and we will have formed a bond to that carbon atom, the carbon-oxygen double bond carbon atom um, from that benzene ring, added that whole entire thing to the molecule. Then again, in step two, we're just gonna be using water to protonate our O minus to create an alcohol. Like that. Our last example, we have a, a smaller Grignard this time reacting with an ester. And in this reaction, again, we want to think about our Grignard as a carbanion, a negative charge on that carbon. It is going to be attacking the carbon-oxygen double bond, opening up that bond. Now we have in the past looked at hydride reagents reacting with esters. This is gonna be a really similar process. When you're adding the Grignard, so we're adding a two carbon Grignard, make sure you get both of those carbon atoms added to the molecule. This, um, in this particular mechanism, because we're starting with an ester, things look a little bit different. Aldehydes and ketones always react in this particular way, just like a hydride reagent. But esters react a little bit different, like we've already seen. Um, with hydride reagents. So in our next step, we're gonna bring those electrons back down and reform the carbon-oxygen double bond. And we are going to get rid of the OR group from the ester. So it gives us this guy. Now I've kind of rearranged the positioning of these two carbon atoms in the molecule. I've moved them just to kind of make it look symmetrical and pretty. So I got rid of this. We've got this O. Um, ET group that's gone from the molecule and we're not going to draw it anymore because it's not it's not an important part of the molecule. 
when we get to this point, this reaction is, you know, it's very favorable. So we're actually going to get a second Grignard in the mix. Um, going to bring in Grignard number two. Still want to think about it like a negative charge on the carbon. That Grignard is going to attack the carbon of the carbon-oxygen double bond. So we're just kind of repeating this process a second time. We saw the same thing happen when we were doing hydride reagents on an ester. So we've added two at this point. We've added two of the R groups from the Grignard. We've got one there, and then here we've brought in our second R group. Now, when we get to this point, when we've added both of those R groups, the last thing that happens, just like with the lithium aluminum hydride reaction, the last thing that happens is protonation at that O minus to give us an alcohol. And also kind of an important thing to note is that we've added not one, but two of the R groups from the Grignard.